everyone. Welcome to uh, episode three, Toma Talks. Today with me, I have Jason. Hi. And uh, in the next couple of episodes, we are going to discuss our information flow and uh, data flow in real life scenarios. Cool. So as an organization, Cynthia realizes that data engineering is a tough subject for a lot of people. It's a relatively new field. Um, and in fact, data itself is quite a difficult concept for a lot of people to understand. So we thought we'd try and simplify it, make it easier to understand and come up with a scenario that everybody can um, comprehend and get the context of. And then we will expand on that over a coming few episodes to turn that into what actually really happens. So we thought we'd start with um, just a something simple like a, a restaurant. Uh, it's a really simple process. Everybody knows how a restaurant works. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do in our restaurant is we have our customer. Named Robert. Oh, he must be pretty hungry. Yeah. Uh, so we have a customer. And our customer talks to a waiter. And places an order. That order goes to our kitchen. And in, goes in the order that waiter has taken from the customer. Super important that you get your food in the right order that you've ordered it. It's exactly. very frustrating to see other people getting their food before At least you. it has to come to the kitchen in the right order. Yeah. Uh, the chef goes to a fridge, picks up the food, cooks it, gives it back to the waiter, who uh, gives it back to Robert, who enjoys his fish or whatever it is he's had. We like fish here, as you know. Yeah. Um, once he's finished his meal, he pays for it. So we have a cash register here. And in this process, we have turned his order into a receipt. Yep. So he gets a receipt and off he goes. Uh, now, at the end of the day, there's a whole bunch of information in this cash register on number of tables that were served, how many people sat at each table, what they had, how much they paid. Exactly. And in the, which period of time we had the most customers. Yep. So we put all of that information at the end of the day into our office. Now, we also take some information on stock levels from our fridge. And then we're able to create an order for what we're going to have or serve for the next day. So we then create an order that goes to our wholesaler and distributor. And I think that also we can take information from the chef directly if he wants to put some stuff, new stuff on the menu. So we have depending a yeah. little line here with additional metadata going around, you know, what time of year is it? And uh, all that kind of stuff. Seasonal that stuff yeah, that affects uh, putting down the menu and uh, putting it uh, to the customer. So then the wholesaler takes their order and delivers it back to the restaurant where it goes into the storage in the fridge. Exactly. And here we have a super simple process. Um, it's a, a, a data is flowing around this system. Mm -hmm. uh, there are processes, there are data stores. Uh, it is just the same as it would be in any other uh, industry where you have flows of information, uh, actions need to be taken with that data um, and you're able to make decisions etc. And this applies literally, you can apply the same sort of processes to automotive, banking, telecoms, finance, whatever it might be. Exactly. We have ordering here, we have production here, we have distribution and logistics here and we have the payments here. So. It applies to a whole bunch of them, especially, obviously, this is a retail system, so it absolutely applies to retail as well. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so the next episode, what we'll do is we'll talk more in detail about this, about different types of uh, data transfer, about different types of data transformations, uh, about analytics, uh, about a whole bunch of stuff like that. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It will be super interesting, yeah. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for this and uh, stay well and take care. Thank you.